Hey, good Monday morning, almost afternoon, yeah. Um, I want to share a devotion with you today and uh, just remind us that God is in control, that God is a God that, that makes miracles happen. And, and, you know, in our world today, we often forget. But, uh, you know, one of the places I like to visit when I go to the Middle East is uh, Jordan, in Amman, Jordan, and, and I like to go to Mount Nebo. Mount Nebo is uh, a, an interesting place. If you study Mount Nebo in your Bible, you'll realize that Mount Nebo was the place that Moses was able to go to. He was able to stand on Mount Nebo, overlook the promised land, but he wasn't able to enter the promised land. Yeah, but he led the people that far. And what's so unique about Mount Nebo today? Well, when you go to Mount Nebo, there is a sign. There is a sign that has arrows pointing in different directions, and underneath the arrows are the names of places. And one of the places that you'll, that you'll see on this sign is Jericho. And, and you know, it, it will have an arrow pointing in that direction. But when you're standing on Mount Nebo, that Jericho is like right to your right and right below you. And, and then the Dead Sea is literally right below you. Um, you. You'll see arrow pointing towards Jerusalem. And from Mount Nebo, if it was a clear day, you would see, all, you would see Jerusalem, all the way to Jerusalem. But most of the time we go, it's windy, it's cold, and it's hazy. But... From the sign, if you look to the right, you'll see this large statue. And it's a statue made of bronze. And it reminds not only the people of Jordan or the people of Israel, but reminds anyone who travels to Mount Nebo today of a miracle that happened in the Bible. And the miracle was this. And if you, look, if you have a Bible, you can look at the, the book of Numbers, Numbers chapter 21. And it says the people became impatient on the way. Now, they just left Egypt. They've been wandering in the wilderness. There's no food. There's no water. Anytime they have a need, God provides for them. And, you know, we often forget that, that God is a God that provides for us. Because we're so busy looking at the negative. We're so busy looking you know, at, at the rocks or the, the, the wilderness, and, and we forget how faithful God is. I mean, the people of Israel should have remembered that God led them out of, out of Egypt, that God led them across the Red Sea on dry ground. They forget, and sometimes we, for, we forget. And I think that bronze statue on Mount Nebo reminds all of those that pass that way that God is a God that is faithful. And it says the people grew impatient on the way. This is Numbers chapter 21, verse 4. And and the people spoke against God. They spoke against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? There's no food, no water. And, And notice what they say next. We detest this miserable food. So they have food, but they don't like what they have. Sounds like kids, doesn't it? I'm tired of that, Mom. I'm tired of that, Dad, you know. Yeah, you've been there. You've done it. Well, all of us have. And so the Lord sent poisonous serpents, poisonous serpents among the people. And they bit the people, and many of the Israelites died. Seriously, that's what the Bible says. Well, the people came to Moses. They said, we've sinned by speaking against the Lord, and we've sinned by speaking against you. Pray to the Lord to take away the serpents from us. See, this is what they they wanted God to take away the serpents. So Moses goes, he prays on behalf of the people. And the Lord said to Moses, this is Numbers 21, verse 8, Make a poisonous serpent, set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten shall look at it and live. So Moses made a serpent of bronze. He put it up on a pole. Whenever a serpent bit someone, that person would look at the serpent of bronze, and they would live. Now notice God didn't take away the serpent, but God made a way for the people to be made well. All they had to do was look up at that statue. And, you know, that's not the original serpent, bronze serpent, on Mount Nebo today. But that is a reminder of how God provides for His people. Sometimes it's not the way we want, but still, God provided a way. If you got bit, all you had to do was look up, and healing would come. And that reminder is still there on top of Mount Nebo today to remind all those that pass by, 
that God is faithful with His Word. Hey, this is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia. Wherever you are, I hope you're happy, I hope you're healthy, and I hope you're safe. Have a great day, everyone, and God bless.